Welcome to Chanel the latest. The Ukrainian military has said that a four-rotor commercial drone that sells over the counter for $300 can be modified to carry explosives that will destroy Russian tanks. Speaking to the news agency Reuters on Tuesday, May 16, a Ukrainian soldier, who uses the call sign Kakert, said, Our team has done it many times. We have destroyed enemy tanks, heavy military equipment, personnel. It's a very effective gadget. Cockert, who was earlier working as an IT programmer, fights for Ukraine's 35th Marine Brigade, which modifies commercially available drones and uses them to attack Russian forces. Reuters reported that the brigade shared visuals of these drones flying into what they said were Russian trenches before detonating. The brigade showed off small commercial drones with four rotors that buzzed around as they were flown by soldiers using handsets. Kakert also told Reuters on Tuesday that Ukraine has invested hugely in drone technology, adding, it's better to make effective use of technical resources instead of people. That's why the Ukrainian armed forces are developing very, very quickly in this direction. Earlier, the Ukrainian government said it was expanding its drone program for both reconnaissance and attacking enemy targets to narrow the gap between its military capabilities and those of Russia. Another soldier, with the call sign Reshik, predicted that Kyiv would make broad use of drones that fly to their target before detonating when it starts its counter-offensive in the coming weeks. Kamikaze drones will play a huge role in the counteroffensive in attacking trenches where the enemy seeks shelter and in killing the enemy, Reshik said. Our Mavic type of drone is in the air. We see a tank driving. We fit the armor-piercing explosive to this part and let it fly. When we see infantry we fit the drone with shrapnel explosives and we fly it. If it is a building, we also fit it with shrapnel explosive and we fly inside the building, he added. Ukraine claimed on Tuesday that it shot down six Russian Kinjal missiles in a single night. In a statement, the defense ministry said, a high-precision strike by the hypersonic Kinjal missile hit a US-made Patriot anti-aircraft missile system in the city of Kyiv. The Kinjal missiles have been touted by Russia as a next-generation hypersonic missile. When asked about Ukraine's claim, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shigu dismissed it. But his ministry said that a Kinjal missile destroyed US-built Patriot surface-to-air missile defense system. The war between Russia and Ukraine is making a lot of high-tech military systems look like so many gold-plated irrelevancies. That's why both sides are relying increasingly on low-tech alternatives, dumb artillery shells instead of pricey missiles, and drones instead of fighter aircraft. This war is a war of drones, they are the super weapon here, Anton Garashenko, an advisor to Ukraine's Minister of Internal Affairs, told Newsweek earlier this year. In early May, Russia attributed explosions at the Kremlin to drones sent by Ukraine for the purpose of assassinating Vladimir Putin, the Russian leader. Ukraine denied the allegation. True, the mission to Moscow was ineffectual, but it is amazing that it could be managed at all.